All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations, and hopefully, that God that pushing his word and truth and adding sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopefully, the believers, the listeners who have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, and what I want to get into in this morning, all right, is the extermination. All right, the extermination. Because there's going to come a point when Esau Edom, all right, will no longer be a nation in the earth. All right, thus said the Lord. And that's the thing that needs to be emphasized on. All right, and the Lord, you know, causes things to be said, you know, by, you know, these false prophets. You know, these different sellouts, you know, these different guys for certain topics to be emphasized on, okay? And we're going to keep going into these topics through the spirit, you know, because these things need to be emphasized on, man, all right? The, the captivity in the kingdom, okay? The understanding of, you know, Revelation 20 chapter, all right? And, and ultimately the extermination of Esau, Edom, you know? And that's one of the things that, that, that that's a comforter. You know, that we rejoice in and the truth is that eventually Esau even will be exterminated out the earth. You know, that, that's 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 a prophecy of comfort. You know, and you really understand this devil and how he moves and what he brings to the earth. Nothing but death, confusion, chaos, deception. You know, that needs to be rid out of the earth. You know, if we're speaking of an eternal righteous rulership. That that that, that spirit that, that Esau comes in. All right. Needs to be rid of the earth. And the Lord is going to do that. Alright. That's why we understand that. Hey, our power. Yahweh Bashim al Shah Is a righteous judge. Okay. It's the book of Isaiah. Chapter 14. Verse 21. It said. Prepare slaughter. For his children. For the iniquity of their fathers. That they do not rise. Alright. Nor possess the land. Nor fill the face of the world with cities. Now. What the cities represent it represents a civilization okay Esau won't be allowed to have a civilization in the kingdom okay he's not going to be able to build okay and, and, and get to enjoy the earth after that thousand year period okay there's a slaughter prepared for him when Esau goes into captivity he will be on death row okay so he's not going to be able to enjoy all right the earth because he would always, you know, be a problem. Now he wouldn't be able to make weaponry, okay? You know, but but he, he would just that the spirit that he comes in, you know, is not needed. You know? But all the other heathen, you know, they have uh humility in them enough, you know, to reverence the heavenly father and they have a skill that they bring to the earth, you know, as servants. Okay, Esau Edom doesn't have no skill self for uh, witchcraft, man, <laughs> uh, murder, deception. Okay, that's not gonna be any. That's not gonna be needed anymore, man. So he's gonna be ridded out the earth. Keep reading it for it says, "For I will rise up against them," said the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, said the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Okay, and what is Reading some when you when you destroy, okay, someone's um uh, uh, male population, okay, that 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 destroys that nation, that deletes that nation, okay, because the seed goes through the man, all right. So the the Israelite, I mean the um the Edomite um males, okay, represent the the lineage or the continuation of Esau Edom. Well, the scripture is saying that he's going to cut off. Every son and nephew, man, all right, which represents the males of Esau Edom, all right, which represents the end of Esau's nation, man, all right, Esau existing as a nation, man, thus said the Lord, all right, and we can't ignore these things and come with all these wild, you know, bugged out, you know, doctrines and saying, nah, man, we dealing with thus said the Lord, okay, so let's go from there, let's get this in, um, the book of Job. Alright. 
is the book of Job. Get straight to the point. All right, this is the book of Job, chapter 18, verse 16, and it says, His roots shall be dried up beneath, and above shall his branch be cut off. Okay, so if you have a tree and the roots are dried up, you know, beneath, you know, and you cut the branches off, well, their, their, their tree is going to wither away and they will come back. Okay. So the Lord is constantly saying the same thing dealing with these people because this um, chapter goes into the wicked. Okay? The light of the wicked being cut off, which is Esau Edom and his rulership and eventually he himself. Okay? It says, his remembrance shall perish from the earth. Wait a minute. You got Jake telling you that Esau is going to influence the earth again in wickedness, man. But the scriptures say his remembrance shall perish from the earth, man. Esau is going to be an uh, uh, afterthought. Remember, we have an eternal kingdom. Esau is only going to exist a thousand years in it. Okay? Esau, his memory, all right, is going to be a, a thing of naught. The, the, the remembrance of Esau, you know, man, we're going to be, and then after so many generations, man, all these heathens coming and being born into a righteous kingdom, man, you know, like, It'd be a waste of time to think about Edomite, man. Okay? And then the BS he brought to the earth, man. Because they're going to be enjoying righteousness, man. Okay? They're going to be enjoying order. They're going to be enjoying the earth giving its strength. They're going to be enjoying the earth being turned back to a paradise. Okay? They're going to enjoy no more wars. Okay? And the uh, Edomite would be a waste of time to think about <laughs> after a while, man. You know, and it says, and he shall have no more name in the street. He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world, chased out of existence, man. Okay, that's the plan for this devil, man. Going to keep going. It says, he shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwellings. Okay. No, any remaining in his dwellings, man, he is it, it, over with. Each termination. Thus said the Lord. Okay? Let's read this. Um, let's get this. Uh, oh, do, 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 do. Yep, let's, you know. Hey, over die. Let's hey, close it out. Ain't hey, made this long, man. Hey, thus said the Lord. <laughs> okay? This Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of jo Joseph a flame, the northern and southern kingdom, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and they shall and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for thus the Lord Yahweh, the Hashem Yahweh Shai, have spoken it. Okay? You see that? So there's, there's the end of this man. All right? This, there, there, that's the end. There should be no remaining of the house of Esau, man. It's complete extermination, man. Okay? And this is what the Lord plans for the wicked. This is their inheritance. All right? Esau, you know, wants to inherit the birthright. You know, he wants, you know, spiritual powers. He wants, you know, um, an eternal kingdom. Nah, man. You, he's going to inherit, all right, captivity or rigorous, okay, the, 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 the most rigorous captivity, you know, that has ever been, okay, he's going to inherit that, and then he's going to be exterminated, that's his inheritance, man, okay, nothing, hey, nothing more, nothing less, man, all right, so that's the point, so Lord will, you brothers, and you few sisters will edify once again, we'll give all praise on the glory and too. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kafadash, and double honors unto the apostles and the elders, GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, and hopefully, shall one.